What's going on guys? Back with another review on I Am Sue. Guys, okay, I've heard a lot about this guy here. I've heard a lot about him, but I really didn't have the time to really listen to him, you know, I guess from some of his earlier stuff. But guys, after listening to him, he's pretty decent. So guys, he had a, um, he has an EP called Eyes on Me. And guys, I think it came out maybe like a couple of days ago, or maybe like... Maybe like last week. I'm not sure. But guys, I've been meaning to listen to it. I finally listened to it. So guys, I'm getting ready to give the review. I Okay, guys, they say is my best song on this mixtape, guys. Because I like the beat, and I like the way he flow. And, guys, he may have that voice effect that everybody is using, like Future and Party Next Door and all the other people you hear using the voice effect and the way they flow. But, guys, I really thought that they say is different. And um, I like the beat, and I, I, think it's, I think it's very... It's telling the truth about what goes on. Um, okay, I like nothing less. But guys, DJ Mustard is going to have to switch up his style of beats. Because all of his stuff sound the same. All of this man's stuff sounds the same. I repeat, all of this nigga's stuff sound the same. I like, I like nothing less, uh, but guys, the, you know, his rap verse was pretty cool on it, but guys, DJ Mustard is just, guys, the song was pretty cool, nonetheless. Then we have Hella Good. Uh, and I, I like Hella Good. It's very swag. It's very club. It's very urban. It's very ATL sounding. And I like it, guys. It's, uh, it's hip. So it's catchy. It's, uh, you know, you can dance to it. You can do, uh, the, uh, uh, um, the, the D-Lo Shuffle, uh, whatever the hell it is. It's catchy, and I like it. It's very different, and uh, I, I, I thought it had a very booming beat to it, even though it sounds a little like DJ Mustard. But anyway, then we have Bands, number four. And I thought this was so catchy. Hey. Uh, Bear, uh, I, 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 yeah, bitch, I need bands, 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 bitch, I need bands. That is just different from to, to me, guys. I like it. It's catchy. And it's... It, I, I just... Y'all, I could just, you know, uh, could see a video for this. And I, I really think... I really like this guy's style. You know, even though I'm not really into the... Hubby, 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 the way people rhyme and how they articulate their words nowadays and rap. But guys, I, I, I could, I could, he can kind of slide because he, he's a little different and he's bringing a, something just a little fresh. Even though everybody's starting to sound the same, I can still kind of say I like some of his, uh, some of I Am Sue stuff because he's different. And for my first time hearing him, I actually kind of like some of his stuff a little bit. Then we have number five, Cartier. I just like the beat. This is probably another one of my favorites that I, I was feeling. Even though it sounds trap like I fucked 
I just thought that that was a little different the way he was flowing. Cardio, cardio, cardio. I need to know the words, guys. I don't understand what the hell he's saying on some of his stuff, but I need to really look at because I really like his beats, and I just think this sounds a little uh, ATL kind of, and uh, it's a club joint, definitely. You could definitely top bottles and turn up and throw your ones in the air in the strip club and you can have bitches everywhere. You can have a bitch right there. You can have a car. So guys, we know what the song is talking about. It's talking about jewelry. Cartier's jewelry. You know, just wrist jewelry and bands and money and blah and blues and blah. Okay, we get it. But guys, I really like the way he's flowing and I really like, even though he's saying the same thing kind of over and over, I, it can still pass for me because I just like it. It's a little turn up, a a kind of. So, guys, I like it. Then we have uh, um, Free That Bitch, FTB, guys. Okay, that song was a little annoying. And that's probably one of my least favorite ones. The beat sound okay, but I really wasn't feeling that one that much. Then we got Let Her Know. Let Her Know was, was, was okay. Uh, it was lagging something, but guys, I I I I I would say I make like maybe like at least four songs on this EP, guys. I'm gonna have to hear a little bit more. He's gonna have to do some more things in order for me to like really get into him. But guys, I just think that he's a little different from Future, even though he's doing the Future thing and the Party Next Door and with the voices effects and the way he's flowing and oh, so much blah blah blah. I got so much blah blah blah. blah. And it's like, you know, okay, I, 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 I'm trying to get familiar with the, with that slang and the way that, 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 that tone and that sound of the music, but guys, it's, 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 I'm, I, I'm trying, so guys, I gave him a chance and I actually like some of his stuff, and... Yeah, this is my review for I Am Sue, guys. Please check out the uh, the uh, EP. I will send a link in the description, okay? So this is Forever Brandon TV signing off. Deuces.